CKPR kicked off their annual Festival Countdown Party, counting down the Toronto International Film Festival. The event was held at the home of NKPR president and founder Natasha Kaufman. So we're here at your annual TIFF downtown party at your beautiful home. Talk to us about uh, your party. I always look forward to this event because it's two weeks before the film festival, before the craziness begins. And I always feel like this event is kind of like camp, everybody coming together. And so we're pretty excited that we have MEC as a partner because they've really transformed my backyard into this like outdoor urban oasis with the tent and the canoe and, and the bike. So um, it just feels like uh, we're camping in the city. And your agency is so busy during TIFF. You guys have most of the, some of the most prestigious events. Talk to us about some of the events you guys are having this year. Um, well, we're hosting the red carpet for the Hello Magazine party. We are also doing our annual Art, Arts for Peace and Justice event on Sunday, September 11th, where we're honoring Sean Penn. Um, and we're also um, hosting a special art show with Peter Tunney, who is on our advisory board for Artists for Peace and Justice, Justice and he's generously donating 50% of all of his work to Artists for Peace and Justice, and we have one of his pieces right there, Don't Panic. I have another piece in my house actually called Gratitude, um, and I love his work. So those are you know some highlights and snippets of some of the events that we have this year. You know, you're all about the glamour and fashion, but you're also a big philanthropist, and you give a lot back to charity. Talk to us about the importance of giving back for you. I think uh, giving back for me is what drives me. You know, I think it's what motivates every single thing that we do. Um, so if you think about even film festival, I think one of the aspects of uh, festival that I love so much is the fact that we've helped raise over $20 million for Artists for Peace and Justice. We helped build the very first free high school in Port-au-Prince in Haiti. And we were able to celebrate our very first graduating class this year. So I feel that you know you can have fun and really celebrate um, the entertainment industry, but at the same time, you really have this incredible opportunity to be able to give back. And our show is all about inspiring the new generation, and you've been very successful in your career. How do you stay humble and grounded through it all? <laughs> Um, I just think that it's 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 who I am. Like I think you know I have a tattoo on my wrist that says gratitude, and I just feel that you need to be grounded in gratitude every single day. Um, and it's it's important. And I think we need to think of others before we think of ourselves. And in the end, you know, we'll please ourselves by making sure that we're doing good things for the world. That's it for this episode of On the Scene Network. I'm Daryl Roy. Thanks for watching. For more entertainment updates subscribe on YouTube, as well as watch us on AOL and Huffington Post.